Welcome to this week's episode of The Better Half. I'm Kendra D. St. Aubin, The Better Half of the Afternoon Show with Gambo and Ash. And this is Katie Hartley, The Better Half of the Morning Show with Doug and Wolf. We're going to take a look back at the week and kind of talk about what's been going on. Well, let's start with some new endorsement deals this week. Props to Tiger Woods and his PR people for getting him set up with a new endorsement deal with a Japanese pain rub. I'm pretty sure that his ex-wife must be running his PR because what a way to bounce back. What do you think, Kendra? Well, first of all, I know he's your favorite male athlete. <laughs> uh, secondly, loving the beard that he's rocking right now. I think it's pretty awesome. But I don't know. Who cares? I mean, this guy makes so much money. He was still in Forbes, I believe, this past year. Mm -hmm. The top, you know, he made the most money out of any athlete in the world again so who cares I don't even know why he's doing it but it's just like Ben Gay rub it here rub it there I mean just hopefully he doesn't use it for just any extracurricular activities <laughs> are you happy about it um I I don't really care I know a lot of celebrities actually move overseas to do endorsements in order to not cheapen their um, image here in America but I'm just Tiger Woods just stay out of the news get some help get your life together Nobody cares about you anymore, so I'm really not all that concerned. Well, and even when he does nothing, he's kind of in the news because people are wondering, what is he doing? Like, it's, is this weird? We haven't heard from him in a while. And another name that has not been in the news for a while, not really so much sports-related when you first hear the name Charlie Sheen, <laughs> but maybe when you think of Major League. That's right, and Charlie Sheen supposedly came out this week and admitted that he took steroids either right before or right at the beginning of shooting Major League. Charlie Sheen, it's like he had to insert himself back in the news because we haven't heard from him a while. And this is, what, this is what he comes out and talks about. And supposedly it changed his fastball from 79 miles an hour to 85 miles an hour. Is that really something to brag about? Well, and that a non-athlete could even throw the ball 79? I don't know. <laughs> I don't to me, it. that seems pretty <laughs> fast, you know. But uh, you're right. First of all, his goddess has left him, so he needs something to talk about. He's trying to find, you know, he's always trying to find ways to get back in the news. He's mm -hmm. so crazy. My guess is he probably took that human, not the human growth hormone, but the one that was the feminine one, you know, that Manny Ramirez oh, was taking. Yeah, exactly. You know, a little more estrogen. He looks like he needs a little more estrogen. That was, that was my thought. I think yeah. he needs just a little more of shut up. Just be quiet, Charlie. <laughs> uh. So let's move on to the All-Star Game, which is here in Phoenix um, on July 12th. And Derek Hall, the president and CEO of the Diamondbacks, was talking about having the roof open for uh, the last round of the Home Run Derby. I, for one, am not a fan of this idea. I don't like the idea of having the roof open in Chase Field when it's like 137 degrees outside. But, Kendra, I know you're okay with it. Well, if it's for the last round of the Home Run Derby, I think the, you know, the sun's going to be down by then, hopefully. That thing is like the slowest moving contest ever. It takes so long. And for the fans' sake, I don't know, I think they prefer to see more home runs, even if they're baking and it's 120 degrees out there. You know, stay out of the sun, first of all. Find a spot, you know, underneath. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I think fans are going to want to see the home runs. Is it not so lame when you're watching a home run derby and none of them are going? It's like a line drive here, a line, you know, trickler through the middle. I mean, that's... Yeah, but it's lame when it's 137 degrees outside and you're sweating profusely and not having fun anymore because by the last round, I'm like, okay, you guys, I just want to know who the winner is and get out of here. So I, I don't... I'm not a fan of the idea. Well, and I can only imagine like how much it. people are going to be hydrating themselves with the wrong kind of hydrating beverages. Right, and a lot of people hot. being from out of town, like yeah. they might not be used to the heat. Yeah. So, when I think Derek Hall and the D-backs are probably a little worried. I mean, this Saturday is supposed to be 117, and I think that heat is most likely going to continue. So, I'm sure they're getting a little bit nervous about you know, the feedback they're going to get about this All-Star Game and the Home Run Derby and even just having all the events going on outside. So hopefully the weather cooperates. Well, the two of us are going to try to stay out of the heat until the Home Run Derby. That's it for this week's episode of The Better Half. You can follow us on Twitter and send us your show ideas. Follow her at Kendra620. and follow I'm not me. taking show ideas from anybody else. Well, I am. You can follow me at FunKatie620. Join us next week for another webisode of The Better Half.